The Ghana Irrigation Development Authority has announced that about 574 villages have benefited from the government's one village, one dam policy introduced to support dry season farming in northern Ghana. The initiative involves constructing multi-purpose dams in selected villages. The authority says each dam was built at a cost of 250,000 Ghana cities to serve the purpose of irrigation, aquaculture and livestock. The chief executive Officer of the Ghana Irrigation Development Authority, Richard Opon Wating, provided an update on the project's progress. There is more in the following report by Channel One News' Ni Aikwe Okai. The government introduced the One Village, One Dam policy to support dry season farming in the northern part of the country. Providing an update on the policy to the Public Accounts Committee, the Ghana Irrigation Development Authority disclosed that over 500 villages have benefited from the policy. Are you the one in charge of one village, one dam? Um, Honorable Chair, we are not in charge, but we give technical support to them. Mm. But we were not in charge of the actual administration of the so, project. So how many villages got dam? Oh, close to about 574. Where? Uh, Honorable Chair, um, I can provide the Are house. they dams or dug out? Yes, some of them are dams, some are dug out. Okay. Because they, they vary, depending on the site. Yeah, yeah, yeah there dug are out, dug out, 570 dug out. Yeah. Honorable Chair, let me do the clarification. Um, a dam is just a structure that stores water. Yes. If it's a dug out, it means that you have to dig below the ground level before you can create the storage. Okay. But it's also a dam. Okay. I would say it's a small dam. Okay. And the big dam is the one that you build above the surface mm. of the earth. That is what we call the big dam. Okay. So dugouts, whether dugout or dam, they are all dams. Management of the Ghana Law School also appeared before the committee and were referred to the Attorney General for prosecution over alleged procurement breaches. And the auditors noted that payment totaling 327040.38 for the procurement of various goods and services. They did not obtain approval from the board, neither did they go through the three different sources. Indeed, if you look at the table uh, under which these infractions were listed, many of which were petty transactions which could easily pass under petty cash transaction. Indeed, the suppliers were registered suppliers of the Ghana School of Law we had regularly engaged them in a number of transactions, at which point we did comply with all the relevant uh, procedures, except that in these instances, those additional invoices were at the time of the audit not attached to those transactions. What does the procurement law say when you're procuring that the method you use to procure if you need something of that nature? Honorable, uh, in such circumstances, you may go for sole sourcing. Yes. yes. And did you do that? Unfortunately, we, we couldn't. At so time so, so you are at fault? You have flattered the law? Yes, we shall we, we will admit. Yes. Um, unfortunately. Um, you admit because you have flattered the law and you have admitted, so we we'll recommend you for prosecution. Honorable Deputy Minister, I want a confirmation if you have received communication from Office of Parliament on all the referrals we have made for prosecution? Yes. You have? We have. Good. What are you doing about We've taken a giant step. So okay. the DPP's office is reviewing it, and we intend having a special team to tackle all those matters. The Tourism Development Fund under the Ghana Tourism Authority also responded to its 13 million Ghana city expenditure on tourism promotion as well as market research. Expenditure item is marketing research and tourism promotion. What we do in terms of tourism promotion is to represent the country at various fairs and exhibitions. And so in the year under discussion, there are about eight um, global tourism conferences and fairs and exhibitions that are attended. Uh, we also are responsible for promotion, and so some of the funding is used for advertising on different platforms. In the year under discussion, we were on um, several platforms, Expedia, CNN, and so many other platforms. That is the way we promote the country to uh, visitors to come to Ghana. And so that is 
what is in reference. In terms of research, what we do is to publish the annual report, uh, which is data that is captured at the airport from immigration and also from other sources. That is consolidated into one annual report, and we've been consistently publishing that since 2019. The Office of the Attorney General has assured that significant progress has been made towards the prosecution of all referrals made to its outfit by the Public Accounts Committee over procurement breaches. Reporting for Channel 1 News from Parliament, my name is Ni Ayukwe Okain.